we're out here on this one it is running inside but obviously not. I don't hear it humming or nothing. Guess that it is out on low pressure. See down. I'm getting 27 volts. I'm not going to go through seeing where I'll lose 24 volts because I suspect this is about out of free air. if I do a leak search on the air handler I'm gonna show you the insane way this thing was designed clearly by an engineer that has never worked on an air conditioner Said 200 psi so um, maybe it's not out on low pressure Hmm. All right, now we gotta, like I said, I wasn't gonna trace through and see where it's open. Well, now I need to. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> All right, I think it goes through this wire is what yellow is hooked up to from the thermostat and it goes through what I think is a low pressure switch so I'm, I'm checking up here so to ground so <clears throat> the call is getting to the board And I think this is my other pressure switch. I'm gonna check across it. I got nothing. I also got no 24 volts. <clears throat> I'm beginning, I'm beginning to suspect this board I think I should have 24 volts on this pressure switch sometimes these things are a little difficult to show you checking across these two blue is common and this blue with a stripe a pink stripe on it goes through my first pressure switch before it even gets to the board and I'm getting 24 volts I think then if this pressure switch is open it'll kill voltage to this one, which goes to the contactor. But, I'm checking for me. I'll just check across it. I got zero volts, so that switch is closed. So I should be getting a call right here. I'm gonna kill power here for just a second, and then I'm I'm going to take this one and hook it right to the contactor to get them going, make sure everything works, and order a new defrost board. All right, so this is the other side of this wire. It goes through my low pressure switch. So basically I'm bypassing the board and still using the low pressure switch. We're just gonna turn it on now and get him some cooling, check pressures, and then order a board. As you can see it's a little bit low kind of high superheat and low suction this is nowhere near enough to make that low pressure switch open so that board 
never should have halted like that I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit get it get it to where I want it and um, we'll get him a new board Side we have 76 degrees and it's a piston so we can't really charge by subcooling we need to charge by superheat which means I need to get my ideal superheat from that charging chart right there I'm gonna look that up and finish. according to the charging chart my ideal superheat is 20 degrees as you see I got it at 19.8 80 degree dry bulb outside and I think it was a 71 wet bulb temperature inside so that's an ideal superheat I'm gonna quit charging and um I may do a leak search inside. I'm about to do a leak search. But what I wanted to show you is the line set is in the back of this air handler. If we ever have to replace a coil, it ain't gonna be easy. That um, air handler, that apartment air handler is made by a company called Aspen, based in Aspen, Colorado. I don't know if they ever straighten that out, but they'll never get any of my business. Thanks for watching.